So Arsenal, after just days following a brilliant performance in the Europa League to book their spot in the semifinals, Janusz, they have drawn 1-1 with Fulham in a London derby. Um, it was a painful match to watch, I will admit that, Janusz, but just thoughts on Arsenal, because how did they go from being the Arsenal that we see in the North London derby in Europa League to the Arsenal again that we saw today? I don't know how I, I kind of, you know, I keep it steady a little bit. I mean, they're just okay. They're an average team, you know, mid table team. I've said this before here. A lot of people didn't like it, but the truth is the truth. And, and we all know that uh, Europa League winning Europa League is the only way to save their season. And if they do, I think things are going to be a little bit better. But even if that happens, you look underneath it and you say to yourself, you know, where has been the progress last season, they finished eighth. The only reason they're even in Europa League is because they won the FA Cup. This year, there's zero worries for them in terms of winning anything in England, right? And, and you know, imagine that, that they have these sort of performances in Europa League against Villarreal and, of course, Unai Emery or, say, against Roma or Manchester United in the final. So if they don't make it by winning uh, the Europa League, if they don't, you know, next season is going to be very, very difficult. How do you explain to anybody who Arsenal are. They're eighth last season. They're ninth right now. There's no chance of them moving up anywhere close to uh, getting into Europe aside from Europa League. So look, uh, say, I suppose, you know, they saved themselves a little bit because uh, for players, uh, it, there's going to be that little bit, that moment of euphoria in the fact that you haven't lost to, to Fulham. But yep. at the end of the day, one step forward, two steps back and not a lot of progress, in my opinion, for Arsenal, other than a couple of young players doing well. Well, so it's like you said, at least I'm sure they would have been slightly happy that they managed to rescue some points, but it still is a draw, you know, with a, a relegation threat and a team that's probably going to be relegated sooner than later when we're talking about Fulham, despite all the, the brave effort that they have put in. But looking at Arsenal now, do you feel like there's a bit of... Um, I suppose the focus now is obviously on Europa League. And do you feel like that focus is somehow continuing or further, you know, hampering their Premier League ambitions now? Well, I think that there were no ambitions anymore for a couple of weeks. I mean, Mikel Arteta has said it uh, a week ago or 10 days ago that it's all about Europe. This is what's going yeah. to save the season. I think, you know, Mikel Arteta, just like uh, the players and probably some realistic fans, know that there's no no go, no go getting to Europe any other way. So you have to save your season. And I can understand from that uh, uh, point of view, right? I mean, you've got to rotate the squad. It was a very good win against uh, Slavia Praha. Let's not th take that away from them because I did not think it was going to be that easy. Uh, you know, you saw, I mean, number of changes because players have to rest. Uh, the games are coming thick and fast. So um, I suppose uh, I think they all know what's at stake. And at stake, it's not the Premier League, not Fulham, uh, but, you know, Villarreal and Unai Emery. And just continuing with Arsenal, because like I said, sometimes when it rains for them, it pours. Obviously, they are without um, Aubameyang. He should be back hopefully sooner than later as well. But Lacazette, wearing sight, seeing him come off, especially after this week that he's had, where he has finally been making the headlines for all of the right reasons for Arsenal. How worried would you be now as an Arsenal fan seeing that sight? Well, you always do. Let's just wait and see because we don't know what happened to him. But of course, yeah. he's been excellent as of late. I think he finally feels uh, wanted and needed because he yeah. certainly didn't feel that early in the season, often on the bench. Uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that before the season, even in the beginning of the season, you kind of, it's all about Aubameyang. How do we keep him? Well, we kept him. Now we got to keep on playing him, right? And he wasn't doing much anyway. And it seemed to me that Lacazette felt unwanted. Mm -hmm. He really did. And now all of a sudden he's playing well. Uh, obviously, Aubameyang is not only not playing well, but he's uh, unavailable as well. So uh, uh, I think I would worry, of course, but let's just wait and see. Maybe it was to some degree precautionary. Maybe it's nothing much because, yeah, I mean, having, every, having said everything that we have, if against Villarreal there's no Lacazette, that's a big worry. And finally, I suppose, let's just spare a thought for Fulham, shall we? Because um, as we said, the writing's looking like it's on the wall right now. Um, but still, there is something about this Fulham team, I guess, Janusz, that, you know, people like or people like to see the fight that they have had. Unfortunately, that fight came a little too late, I guess we would say, in the season. But thinking of next season, I guess, you can see something that Scotty Parker and Co. can probably build on. 
Well, you, you hope that happens when you see what happened, you know, with North City and Daniel Farke just coming back, right? Keeping yeah. most of the teams and getting right players uh, on loan as well. You see Watford that most likely, you know, we'll see. But I think currently in second, they may come back. So, yeah, I think the spirit is there. The question is always going to be, are they going to be able to keep the best players? I think they will trust uh, Scotty Parker once again. So I think it's positive. Even if they want today, I still think they were going down. Look. I mean, they've done well just to give themselves and, and everybody else hope, right? But just as they got there, you know, you can't lose four straight games in the Premier League at the, in the, during the most important part of the season after yeah. you've done so well. So, you know, coming into this game, it was four straight, right? And now it doesn't help. They also have two games more than Burnley who are ahead of them. So, I mean, it, it, even with a win, I still think they were going down. But it kind of unfortunate because not only for the team, for the players, but for all of us, uh, I think it would have been nice if they did get the three points because that hope would have continued. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.